Hey guys, uh, it's Dan and Sam uh, from Fisher Jeep Adventures. Uh, we just made it to Slade, uh, Kentucky, uh, where we are going to jump on the Kentucky Adventure Tour. Uh, so we hope to spend the next three or four days out there. Uh, the trip coming up was uh, pretty easy. We took 81 South uh, from uh, Richmond uh, down to Abington and then cut through the mountains uh, into Kentucky. Took 15 all the way up. Um, it was a really nice drive. Just It's about 500 miles worth of traveling. So um, it was a long day in the car and uh, we got here a little bit late. So we're going to uh, go through uh, not a tunnel and... Um, and and see what that's all about and so if this is something you're interested in, please stick around for the video all right once you uh get off into slade there's a uh, rest area where you can stop and go to the bathroom and then there are two uh, gas stations where you can fill up uh, which is what we did This is the Nada Tunnel. It's pretty damn cool. Right, guys so that was super cool to be able to drive uh, through the mountain and uh, come out the other side no traffic we didn't have to wait um, or anything so I had expected because we got here so late today that we wouldn't have a that we have a bunch of people around or um, you know there'd be traffic you know if you will so um, all is well so we are now uh, Headed uh, down the Kentucky Adventure Tour. So we're on hard surface roads and this is, uh, you know, we just decided to come out here. So I, I don't know what we're gonna find or what we're not gonna find. I've seen a couple videos on different sections running counterclockwise from Slade. Um, so uh, we'll see. All right, we made it about uh, 12 miles from the tunnel uh, down a basically like a, a really narrow two-lane paved road and uh, finally made it to some gravel. We've gone in and out of the state forest um, and, or national forest a couple times so uh, we're flanked by some private property now so we'll kind of see where this goes. So there's a creek running uh, by the right side of the road um, and it I believe this is called uh, Spas Creek. It's just after being on the road for uh, the pavement for 500 miles, it's really nice to just be out off road. It's quiet, just to be back in the woods. That's what it's all about. All right, so you come to an area where there's uh, some dispersed campsites and looks like a little water crossing
muddy and it's uh, rutted out really, really bad. A lot of this is uh, flanked on both sides by uh, private property. You know, for those those of us who are just out here trying to explore, you know, please stay off people's properties. You know, they have it posted for a reason, and uh, you know, to keep the trail open for everybody else, just uh, just stick to the road. Here's another section where the road becomes the creek. Spas Creek um, and uh, are up in uh, an area where there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of boulders just all laid up on a ridge line All right. 
right, so we just came up out of Spas Creek. So we climbed up almost 600 feet coming up those rock ledges and all the rocky steps and stuff. And I certainly was not expecting the technical um, part of that trail. It was super cool, you know, especially being on the road all day long to hit that um, from the first, from the get go. Um, but like I said, it surprised me. So if you're jumping on the Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway and the Con Kentucky Adventure Trail, just know that when you, if you come through uh, the Nada Tunnel and you continue on to Spas Creek, that that section is going to um, give you some challenges uh, regardless of your skill level. And uh, the Jeep made it through fine. We had no trouble. I said the suspension, uh, everything worked really, really well. I was very happy uh, with how everything went. And, um, you know, we had a, a couple slippery spots on some of those ledges, but between the suspension, um, the control arms, and uh, our Milestar tires, you know, we made it through without any trouble. Just in four high, uh, off-road plus with the sway bar disconnected. So, all right. So just a short section on the road, and then you turn down uh, Pumpkin Hollow. Uh, again, there's a sign for the Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway, and uh, Sam's just barking at a horse. And um, we're back on dirt again, so uh, we'll see where this goes. Hopefully, this will lead us to a place where we can camp for the night. Uh, Cause it's getting late. All right, guys, we jump right back into a uh, muddy off camber.
the right. <laughs> All right, guys, so we found uh, camp for the night. <clears throat> Just a... Uh, It's right off the road, but it's just a little grassy area. It's almost 7.30 and I don't want to go any further and not have a place. So uh, this is kind of where we're at. We got a stream in the background. I'll show you real quick. from there so this will be it for tonight all right guys that was the end of uh, day one Sam's got his new uh, cot to keep him up off the ground uh, we just made some dinner uh, those first two trails of the Daniel Boone backcountry byway and the Kentucky Adventure Tour were uh, a whole lot more than what I expected them to be so I hope you guys got something out of the video we're gonna eat some dinner make some coffee and then uh, go to bed so thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram. And uh, this is Dan and Sam from Fisher Deep Adventures, and we'll see you on the trail.